This week has felt like it's gone on forever. <laughs> I think it's because I'm coming off of kind of like a not being in my routine. So I'm like, this is, this is feeling a little bit long, you know? But as per usual, I'm getting ready to go to the gym with Joel and just making my bone broth. I woke up in the middle of the night I got two. These girls, Miss Tupi and Binu, were like taking over my pillow. So my head was like kind of in the middle and then they were both like scrunched up cuddling together above it or like kind of to the side. And I'm like, oh my gosh, I literally can't move my head. Or I'm gonna crush them. So I didn't want to move them. And I just like got and like one of our decorative pillows from the bed and I put it in front of my actual pillow and I just slept on that because I didn't want to crush you. I didn't want to crush them. They were so cute cuddling and I couldn't move them. Just since I'm short, my legs still didn't even go off this, the edge of the bed, <laughs> even with an extra pillow length. So it was fine, but it was so cute and just funny. <gasps> I'm like tired today, but I'm not like I feel fine and I woke up fine But I feel tired in a way too like I'm the tiredest I've ever been like I feel fine I need to make sure to drink enough water today because yesterday I got so dehydrated I swear and I'm also not gonna go in the sauna today because My stomach was like convulsing and I searched it up and apparently if you drink if you're dehydrated You can get like really bad cramps and it that's exactly what it felt like it wasn't period cramps It wasn't food crabs like I know what those feel like this is so different and it was like what is this but definitely I got dehydrated which is so bad the thing is though is I did think I was drinking enough water like I always make sure to drink at least like some water but I guess it just wasn't enough come to think of it like I didn't drink any earlier in the day so I kind of forgot about it sometimes I just forget to drink water like I just it doesn't happen you know especially if you're having like coffee though you want to drink water because coffee is so dehydrating and if you drink coffee, you almost have to drink like an extra cup of water. Alright guys, cheers to Thursday and the tail end of the week. I tried to actually like get into my book last night, but as soon as I start reading, my, I get so tired, spat. Like I almost can't read at night anymore. I have to read in the morning or during the day because as soon as I pick up that book, my eyes are like, okay, we're going to bed. So <laughs> I've been trying to start reading this book for the past two days, the 5am club book, but my body is just like, nope, you're going to bed. So I guess that's a hack for me. If I want to go to bed, I just have to start reading and then I'll get tired. All right, guys, outfit of the morning for the gym. My sports bra and my leggings are from Aritzia. They're butter line and collection and wearing my new balances as always. And then my jacket is from Princess Polly. I get a lot of questions about my jackets. They are from Princess Polly. I don't know if my discount code is still relevant there. But if it is, I will leave it down below. Pretty simple gym outfit. I don't really tend to wear like non-matching gym outfits like sets. But today I'm like, I don't really care. Because I don't have a matching piece for either of these. So, slay. Let's go. Don't, don't play with it. Don't be decided. Still not understanding this logic. Hey, back in I'm better
guys so i just got to costco i'm grocery shopping today costco is always so busy so i'm like okay i'm gonna go first thing in the morning it's literally like 9 30 i just had to do a little pit stop because of gas because costco does have gas and i was just gonna fill up here but then i realized oh my god literally the lines for their gas station is like down this street because they give like two cents off so everybody's freaking out about it and they want to fill up at costco so i'm like okay my gas light is on. I don't even know if I'm going to make it. Like, with my car running, waiting in this line. And I don't want to waste so much time. So, I'm just going to go find a different gas station. So, I had to do a little... Like, I got to Costco. Then, I went to go fill up that gas. And then, now I'm back. It gives me so much anxiety when my gas light's on. Like, I usually don't let the gas light even come on. But, I was running on two bars for, like, the longest time. And, as I was driving here, the gas light went on. And, I'm like, oh, I'll just do fill up at Costco. And, then, I realized, wait, there's, like, a line down the street. So, anyways. I usually get Joel to fill up the car. Because, I just hate putting in gas. It's just there's worse things it's definitely way worse things in this world such a first world problem but it's just something i don't prefer not to do anyways i just got to costco and you'd think that they just opened an hour ago so it wouldn't be that busy i could barely find a parking i swear there's not one single time of the day that costco is not busy because they are always popping like everybody is just full send on costco all of the time and somebody told me to come in the morning and usually it's not that busy like on a weekday but nope it is just as busy like costco is absolutely insane that's why i usually don't like coming here alone like i hate it because it's just so much stimulation and there's just so many people and it's just like a headache but i'm gonna try to be really fast in and out and joel is like obviously working today so he couldn't come with me so i'm like whatever i'm just gonna get it done alone and then i also have to go to the regular grocery store as well to stock up we just need a bunch of things we don't have anything at the house right now because i haven't gone grocery shopping this week yet i have been delaying my grocery shopping so much recently like i should be going every monday or every tuesday and i have just left it till the end of the week because i just haven't been making the time to go so anyways we're here now i'm gonna start a grocery shop venture i like doing it like first thing in the morning because i hate having to like stop my day and then go you know i'd rather just get it done and then be able to stay home for the rest of the day that's the plan it's actually supposed to be 26 degrees today which is like 80 fahrenheit and i wore a puffer because this morning was freezing and i'm still in my workout clothes from my workout this morning but i didn't go in the sauna today so i'm not sweaty like i honestly don't really sweat unless i go in a sauna or something so um it's not like gross or anything but i don't really want to take this puffer off because i'm literally just wearing a sports bra so i'm going to keep her on the whole day but it's the morning right now so it's not like that hot yet so i should be fine but that's crazy that it's gonna be so hot like it's may usually the weather is like at least under 20 degrees in may so i didn't expect this then i remembered i'm like oh shoot i could have just worn a sweater but that's okay let's go in let's get this over with i'm just procrastinating because i really don't want to go in i hate costco but i love costco like i love their bulk everything like such good deals but i just hate how busy it constantly is 24 7 and it's just a headache i'm gonna stop rambling let's go shopping <laughs> My goodness you guys you don't even know what i just went through the embarrassment <laughs> the embarrassment that just happened throughout my grocery shopping experience oh my gosh okay i just can't usually nothing like this happens to me but today is my embarrassment day apparently the universe is trying to humble me i don't know why but she is oh my gosh okay let me start with costco i go to costco do my shopping whatever get to the till the total is like 500 bucks okay and i have a costco mastercard and at costco you can only pay with a mastercard or a debit you can't use visa and my two other credit cards are visas so i can't use them so i have my mastercard ready to pay it's like not authorized and i'm like what that's weird because it's worked for me like all this time i have all the money on it like it's at zero dollars right now i we kept trying and it was like not authorized keep on mind there's a whole line up okay everybody just staring at me i'm like oh my god this is literally so embarrassing i hate using my debit card because it's so 
finicky it's just really annoying because i get charged on my debit if i go over a certain limit they're like oh do you want to try your debit i'm like oh my god please work or else i'm actually gonna cry so i'm getting all sweaty right because i have like my jacket on and i'm just it was kind of cold in there but then i was getting really hot and then everyone was staring at me and i'm like getting sweaty and i'm like it's already been like five minutes i feel bad i'm holding up the line and my cards are not working so i go to use my debit and it doesn't work and i'm like this is like the most embarrassing thing of my life the guy it was smirking at me like the one that was in line behind me and i'm like do you want to pay for it do you want to swipe your card anyways they had to take me to the side and then my debit ended up working after a couple tries but it was so finicky oh my gosh literally thank jesus the lord because if my debit didn't work then i would have gotten home with no groceries from costco but anyways they were just like oh you should call mastercard and see like what's up with the card i was like i swear i'm not broke like i swear i have the money but it's just not working got over that then we went to the second grocery store okay this isn't like the most embarrassing thing in the world but i hate it i prop my camera up and whenever i prop my camera up to take a shot i always like look around me to make sure nobody's coming because i don't want to like exploit anybody in my video and also pretty embarrassing i look around nobody's there so i set up my camera and i go to do the shot but lo and behold somebody just pops out of nowhere like he just pops up he goes in the specific aisle like the specific part of the aisle that i put my camera i'm like of course like of course this happens so embarrassing because he obviously knows i'm filming myself like i don't know why it's so embarrassing to, to, to do that but if i was like in a group of people or with somebody it's not as embarrassing as like being with yourself and that happening so i'm like this is just absurd at this point like what else is going to happen to me today oh it doesn't stop there then i see the kombuchas on the side and i get two kombuchas put them in my cart and then i'm checking out and then i realize oh shoot i got the wrong flavor of kombucha so i go i can't even guys i go to bring the box back to where the, all the kombuchas were. I go prop the wrong flavor back on the stack of kombuchas and I go to grab the one that I want. I pick it up and the bottom, the bottom was like undone. So <laughs> all the kombucha cans come flying out of the bottom, crash on the floor, big spill. <sighs> This is the most humbling day of my life. There's no way this just happened. Like it was not my fault because the bottom was just boom. Like it just opened. I didn't do anything. I look around, nobody. <laughs> this is so bad guys. I'm sorry. I was just heat at the moment, okay? I look around, nobody saw, I don't think. So I'm like, okay, I'm just gonna leave and pretend like this never happened. I didn't even dare to get a second thing of kombucha. I'm like, I'm just leaving. I'm just leaving, we're just gonna go with one. Then as I'm leaving <laughs> the grocery store, they go on. <laughs> They go on the intercom and they're like clean up on aisle five and that is just when I burst it out laughing Like right as I'm leaving the door. That's when the announcement went on and I'm just like oh, This is what a day what a day when things like this happen is just funny because I feel like when weird things like this happen They all happen in one day and you're like what is with today? Like what's going on? Who knows like maybe it could be the universe stalling me for a specific reason to not be in a certain place at a certain time Like you never know what the reasonings could be behind something. Maybe I'm just getting humbled who knows but anyways that's my story of grocery shopping today nothing like that has really ever happened to me that embarrassing i'm usually smooth a smooth sailing person but today i got slapped in the face comment down below an embarrassing story that happened to you if you have any because i would love to share our embarrassing stories anyways on another note i went into shoppers i have run out of my deodorant and i have been smelling disgusting at the gym okay it's just the way it is i need deodorant so i got the schmidt roller deodorant i got the spray one of this and never buy their spray guys because the canisters they stop working after like one week and then you have all that product in the bottle and the sprayer just stops working so you can't get a hold of that product they actually smell so good the bergamot and lime is so good maybe we'll just share them but mmm they smell so good this one's actually my favorite the bergamot and lime but anyways yeah you i've been trying to really just be careful about what i put in my body or i mean on my body and in my body but your skin is the biggest organ in your body and it absorbs guys it absorbs everything you put on and so i want to be just more cautious going forward about using certain like fragrances and creams and like what's really in them that's going to soak into my skin you know and soak into my bloodstream or my system potentially like over time so i'm trying to go more natural and yeah these are all natural so that's a sleigh but i actually need some deodorant right now so mm, this one is so good it smells like a popsicle like a lime popsicle i'm putting this on right now because i am just i've been sweating from embarrassment today anyways i'm at my final grocery store i'm ready and meets just to pick up a couple things and then we're finally heading home pray to god nothing happens to me in there because for my record today i'm gonna like knock over a whole shelf or something 
please universe i'm i'm done with embarrassment today <laughs> anyways okay i'm just gonna get in so i can get home as soon as possible because i'm done i want to be home Ugh. okay guys i just got home thankfully we're home safe praise the lord and i just got home at 12 22 so 222 the universe is trying to clearly telling me tell me something right binu binu is just so holdable like she doesn't care to be is more like she doesn't like being flailed around like this so she i don't pick her up as often so that's why i always pick up binu and to be is still kind of a little bit shy she's gotten so much better though and she like always cuddles us and stuff but like in terms of being picked up she doesn't like it as much as binu so I don't want to bother her, but I love them both equally. I really do. Right? You and your sister? She's just such a doll and they're already growing. You're already growing so fast. I have a whole chore of putting away all the groceries and giving you guys a haul. Um, I'm going to do a really quick haul because I got so many things. It's actually crazy. So I'm going to go through it really quick. If you guys are curious on what I got. So let's do a haul and then we will start the chore of putting everything away. Let's do a haul. <gasps> Say hello. You are so cute. Say hello. Costco haul. $500. <laughs> I did get something big. I'll show you guys in a sec. But I just got these no antibiotic sausages. I got some more coffee beans, avocado oil, smart sweets, Greek yogurt, tuna, butter, coconut water, and these little mini ones so I can just rehydrate. Mary's crackers. These are the best and they have the best ingredients. Two carton of eggs. I got some Korean barbecue jerky. It's so good. Then I just got these JoJo's chocolate for a little sweet treat. And then I just got these RX protein bars. I love these so much because the ingredients are super clean in comparison to all the other protein bars out there. And so that's the Costco haul. At Costco, the Ninja Creamy was 50 bucks off. And me and Joel have been wanting one so bad to make like healthy ice cream. And yeah, I'll update you guys on how it is. And maybe we'll try to make some tomorrow. Oh my gosh, like matcha ice cream. Are you kidding me? I'm so excited to make smoothie bowls. And it was only 150 bucks, which is really good because they were having such a good sale. I just had to get it. And it's been honestly out of stock everywhere, I feel like, for the past long time because they were, they were so popular and they went viral on TikTok. So I'm so excited to try it. I hope it lives up to the hype. At Costco, I also got these Tommy Hilfiger socks. These are just like the perfect cut. I love this length of sock. And I've been needing new socks desperately, so... I had to pick these up. Costco always has like the best socks and underwear. It's just so nice having clean, nice, fresh pair of socks. And then I just got this huge bag of Basmati rice from Costco. Basmati rice is my favorite and it's such a good price there because usually I buy just like a little one for my grocery store and it's 10 bucks. But this one was only $15 for this ginormous bag, which will probably last me like six months. So that's a sleigh and yeah, love Basmati rice so much. And look at this cute like bag packaging. Now for just the regular grocery haul, I got strawberry, some almond and granola because i've been wanting to have yogurt recently so got some granola got some lettuce for tonight's dinner because i'm gonna make shrimp wraps and then i got this pear and apple i <laughs> i don't know what it's called guys i got some milk sparkling water bananas kombucha rip the other box thank you very much got some rice vermicelli for the wraps tonight two of these mangoes that are my favorite got some bone broth some lemon juice avocado salad sesame seeds for the wraps tonight and i got these rice wraps i'm so excited to make these i'm gonna make like a peanut butter sauce it's gonna be so good and then i got this dip me and joe were just shredding this smoked salmon spread oh my gosh amazing and then i just got two of these amy's burritos for the freezer got some ground beef some pork and then some chicken wings yeah that is the haul i feel like i got a million groceries today but now I'm gonna organize the fridge and put everything away. Currently, just prepping dinner. I'm gonna make shrimp Vietnamese rolls, like I already said, and I'm so excited. It just seems like the perfect spring dish. It's already 6:48 because I was editing all day, doing work, and then I also deep cleaned our fridge and freezer, and that took me like th two to three hours, like so long, but it just needed to be done. And then I put away all the groceries, just cleaned up the whole kitchen, unboxed our Ninja Creamy, so I'm excited to use that. Now we're here making dinner. Um, I was adamant to make this. Joel was like, babe, we should just have burritos tonight. Like, you're good for the cooking. And I'm like, no, but I, I, I need to make these. Like, I do. Like, I, and I have energy for it because it's something that I actually want to do. I literally just showered. I was in my workout set all day. 
I just didn't want to get out of the groove of things. So I just showered 20 minutes ago, got in my jammies, and we're ready for bed. So I'm all cozy. It's so nice being ready for bed now because usually I don't get ready until after dinner. Hi, Bean. Hi, Bean. Are you going to have some shrimp? So I got these rice paper wraps, as you guys saw in my grocery haul, and I've actually used these before, so I know how to use them. Basically, you just have to submerge them in like warm water slash hot water, and then they get super soft, and then you can make the wraps with them. So I got all my ingredients here. I got the little setup. Here we have the rice wraps. I'm gonna pour boiling water in there or hot water so that it'll make them soft and cook them a little bit. Then once that's soaked, you're gonna take that, put on the plate, and then put the shredded carrots, the lettuce, the shrimp, and then I got some sesame seeds, and then some, this is called vermicelli, it's just basically rice noodles. Yeah, that's gonna be the wraps, and then I'm gonna make a really good like peanut butter lime sauce. I'm so excited, so let's assemble these and put them together. Here are how the wraps turned out. I'm so excited. It was a lot of work, but if you guys have time, it's so worth it. And this is the peanut butter sauce. I will link the recipe down below. If I forget, just remind me in the comments. But oh my gosh, I'm so excited to eat this. And it's like the perfect healthy, it has protein, little meal. You can also make them vegan if you just do vegetables or even chicken. Like you can, you know, alter the recipe, but I'm so excited. There's another layer under here. You don't want to like stack them together because they're super sticky. So anyways, slay the peanut butter sauce is so good. Hey guys, so I just got myself ready for the day. One of my favorite, favorite, favorite things to do is wear a simple outfit, then accessorize and dress it up with jewelry, especially in the summer. Oh my gosh, I'm obsessed with layering jewelry pieces. And I wanted to show you guys the new Missouri pieces that I got. If you guys don't know what Missouri is, they are a jewelry brand that was founded in 2015. They use super high quality, responsibly sourced materials to create pieces that will last a lifetime. And you guys, their jewelry is so cute if you have never been on their website go and check it out right now but i'm gonna show you guys what i got from them here's a close-up of my ring it is so beautiful i love the thickness of it and it's such a beautiful design i also just cut myself so don't mind that band-aid here's this beautiful bracelet that i got from them with a customized m on it i love customized pieces of jewelry like this because it almost like tells a story and it would also be a really amazing gift to give to someone as well seriously look at how beautiful the hoops that i have on right now they match my ring and i love myself a cute matching little set of jewelry. I love hoops that are like exactly the size. I feel like they're great for an everyday wear or even if you're going out, they're perfect to spice up an outfit. I also got one more pair of hoops from them that are just a more simple basic pair and these are more so of a every single day wear. Like I am gonna put these on my ears and never take them off. They're the perfect stable piece of jewelry that you can wear time and time again. Wearing beautiful jewelry like this and knowing that it's good quality just makes me happy <laughs> and it makes me feel like a woman. I don't know how to describe it, but it just makes me feel elevated elegant and beautiful anyways if you guys want to shop Missouri, which i totally suggest you do because they have so many beautiful things on their website you can scan the qr code that's on the screen right now or click the link in my description thank you so much to Missouri for sponsoring today's video in love with them good morning you guys gym outfit of the day i'm just wearing this set from aritzia everything is from aritzia the butter collection and yeah i'm just going to the gym now with joel we're doing cardio today or i'm doing cardio i'm just gonna walk on the treadmill get some good steps in and that's the vibe i'm so tired this morning i'm so glad it's friday happy freaking friday today's gonna be a good day i already know it and yeah let's go work out friday's the most motivating day of the week for sure because it's the tail end where you're kind of the most tired but at the same time, it's like it's super motivating because it's Friday and you know you get the weekend to relax. Or maybe you do. Like different different for everybody. But for me, I get the weekend to relax. So it's just so much to look forward to. Friday workouts feel the best because they're the most rewarding, you know? They're the hardest to do, but they're the most rewarding because you know you get to relax on the weekend. Let's go to the gym.
So I went to the grocery store and they have like a smoothie bar. So I got this, um, it's called the glowing smoothie. It has almond butter in it, protein powder, banana. It's so good. I don't know what type of sorcery is in here, but it's so good. I think it has almond milk and a couple other things, but I am thoroughly enjoying this. It's just so good. Like I need to replicate this smoothie. Mm. Hey guys, so I just kind of got myself ready for the day. I'm just wearing a tank with um, sweatpants and my sambas because it is 26 degrees today, but I'm not quite ready to wear shorts yet. I don't know why it just doesn't feel appropriate, which it is hot enough to wear shorts, but I don't know why. I just, I need to transition myself a little bit smoother than that. So this is a little outfit I put on for today. I have to do work. I need to get a video edited and done. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to post this Sunday, which is sad because the sponsor has not approved my video yet. So I'm waiting on that. So hopefully that gets approved and I can post on Sunday. Otherwise, I'm posting early in the week, so whatever. It's the same amount of videos anyways, but I like posting on Sundays. So yeah, I'm going out right now to get my kitten some food, run some errands because they ran out of their dry food. And we're trying to transition them from dry food to wet food, but you can't really just do that all of a sudden because kittens need a lot of moisture and cats need a lot of moisture and dry food just doesn't have enough like moisture in the, the diet. Oh, hi, baby. Oh, she's purring. Oh my gosh. But yeah, dry food just doesn't have enough moisture in their diet, so it's good. Wet food is a lot better or raw. So anyways, gotta go pick them up some dry food just for now so that they can wean off of it. Because this one was having some diarrhea when we fed her too much wet food and we didn't transition her properly. Right? Your stomach did not agree to that. Now did it. And we felt so bad. And it was stinky. It was very stinky. So we want to make sure that they're getting transitioned properly to the wet food. So... We're kind of going to do make sure both for a while until we can like wean them off. We're going to get the mother baby cat food. Joel and I actually were going to go after the gym, but they weren't open yet. So I'm just going to head out now quickly and pick it up for them. Meow. Are you saying hi? Anyways, okay. Let's go. I also am going to make a protein bagel recipe later, which I'm so excited about. And I'll show you guys. Um, my sister actually made them and so I got the inspiration from her and then I searched them up on TikTok and there's like a bunch of recipes so it's pretty simple it's literally just like Greek yogurt flour and seasoning and whatever so I'm excited to make those because they're super easy to make and lots of protein and yeah I wish you can come with me I was literally doing my makeup and this girl got so needy and she wanted to be picked up she was like meowing because she loves to sit on Joel's lap while he's working in his office but he had his door closed because he was on a meeting and um, she was like meowing profusely at his door and then when she realized he wasn't going to open it she came to me when I was doing my makeup and meowing at my feet so I picked her up and put her in my little hood I put my robe on so she can go into the hood and she started purring didn't you hmm? you little needy girl you're so cute I literally can't handle it okay she wants down and I'm gonna go let's go the little baby kitten food they have to eat this until they're up to four months and then they get like the real kitten stuff but hopefully this will be the last bag and then we can just transition them to wet food such a beautiful day oh my gosh it's actually so 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 hot like i can't even be sitting in the car with our air conditioning which i'm not complaining about i feel like everybody's gonna be at the beach this weekend let me see what the degrees are gonna be everyone's probably already at the beach today oh shoot yeah it's gonna be just as hot tomorrow the beaches are gonna be loaded i'm so excited for summer like this is just getting me like so excited Oh my goodness. Okay, let's go home because I have work to do today and bagels to make, baby. an rx bar these are the ones that i bought at costco they're so good rx bars like for a regular protein bar i look at the ingredients and it's like literally 100 ingredients and it's so bad for you like there's so many additives and yes it's protein but like how is that really being processed in your body with all those chemicals so these rx bars literally have dates dried egg whites almonds cashews and blueberries that's it and it tastes so good like i love the taste of these anyway 12 grams of protein these are a sleigh so if you are on the market for a good 
protein bar i would definitely recommend or x bars i think you can get them on amazon too so check that out but at costco they're definitely like the best deal because you can also buy them like individually at your any grocery store pretty much so i'm just so tired today like i'm trying to stay awake editing but it's hard editing on a friday is like the worst i swear it's just the hardest <laughs> because i just want to enjoy friday night and relax i just want to be outside right now honestly it's so nice it's two o'clock the day is going actually going by really slow today <laughs> the fridays always do because you're like anticipating it joel and i are definitely going to get some food tonight um i'm going to make the bagels soon actually joel went to go get a massage because his back was hurting a lot so he wanted to go treat himself i guess but anyways yeah i just wanted to update you guys thank god for air conditioning though because it's so cool in my house and it's so hot outside air conditioning is amazing it really is anyways Okay, Greek yogurt bagels coming at you. These are very high protein, literally three ingredients, I think. Super easy to make. So it says, I think the first thing is to preheat the oven to 375. So I'm going to do that. So first ingredient is one cup of all-purpose flour. We are going to make these gluten-free. Hopefully it turns out okay. This is just the Rob's Red Mill 1 to 1 baking flour. So hopefully it's good. This flour is like probably the best gluten-free flour that you can get that actually like works as real flour. So I'm sure it'll be fine, but you can use one cup of any all-purpose flour you want. Next ingredient is two teaspoons of baking powder. And then it calls for a three quarter teaspoon of salt. That's a lot I feel like, but at the same time it makes sense since we're making bagels, you know, it's not anything like sweet. So now I'm just going to take a fork and then mix all of the dry ingredients together. Now for the Greek yogurt. I got this one from Costco. It's organic Greek yogurt. And for three quarters of a cup, there is 17 grams of protein. That's actually insane. That is so high in protein. So it just takes one cup. Now that I got the Greek yogurt in there, I'm just going to take a spatula and it says to just mix it all up because we are going to be kneading this in a second, but they said this should be like crumbly. Okay, my dough is mixed. This is what it looks like. I think you guys can see that. It's just super crumbly, which is apparently normal. Now it just says to, I washed the counter so it's clean, but it says to spread some flour onto the counter because we're going to be kneading it. I feel like I need to take my rings off for this. I don't get how people work with dough when they're wearing rings. It just icks me out a little bit. It says kneaded about 15 times. So kneading is like you just have to kind of flip it up. I know this dough is not going to be like as good as real flour, but it's looking actually pretty good. So not mad about it. So now that it's kneaded, it says to form into a ball. <laughs> I love working with dough. It's honestly so fun. This dough is actually like a really good consistency. I'm impressed. So now it says after it's like in a ball, just to cut it into four. I guess this only makes, yeah, four bagels. Okay. So now you have to take one section and then roll it into a, like a rope. Okay. So now when it's like this, you just want to attach the ends like that. And then it makes a bagel. Cute. This is actually such a little... Oh, this is actually such a cute little bagel. Like, are you kidding me? I'll show you guys a closer up when I am finished. Okay, I got my four bagels lined up. Now I'm gonna get a baking sheet and put some parchment paper over top. It says if you're using parchment paper to put some oil over top, just so it doesn't stick. Now I'm just gonna transfer them onto the parchment paper. Now it says to coat them with an egg wash. So I'm just gonna put an egg into a bowl and then beat it. And then that's called an egg wash. I'm gonna take this little brush tool and dip it in the egg wash and then coat the top of the bagels. So now that they're all coated, I'm gonna take this Watkins Organic Everything Bagel Seasoning and just sprinkle it on top because I wanna do everything bagels. You can do sesame seeds as well or just nothing if you want just them to be plain. That is actually it. Then we're gonna pop them in the oven for 25 minutes. 
here are the bagels closer up so as you can see they're pretty small so if you guys want to make like a big batch i would actually like triple this because it only makes four so this will be a good like tester to see how we like them and everything but i already know we will i'm gonna pop them in the oven now and i'll show you guys what they look like when they're done so these are how the bagels turned out oh my gosh guys they look so good they were in there for 25 minutes and they're like warm and just oh my gosh i'm gonna enjoy one right now and i'll let you guys know how they are bagel taste test so they have lots of protein Okay, mm -hmm. let's try just regular cream cheese first to get the real taste. Alright, right, let's try that out. Okay, should we just bite it like this as it is? Yeah, sure. Like first? Yeah. Okay. Mmm. Oh, it mm. looks nice and gooey. It looks gooey. Mm -hmm. That looks good. Mmm. She's asleep. Her head is just so I think the gluten free flour, I could have cooked them longer because they're a bit gooey in the middle. I like that though. Mmm. No, they're perfect. <laughs> Oh my god. Are you kidding? Let's try the salmon cream cheese. That's gonna be OP. Mmm. It's like a. It's almost like eating ice cream. Oh my gosh. Ice cream? How's that? I think I prefer the cream cheese, honestly. The plain? I think so. Yeah, because it makes it stand out. Because the other one's too strong. Like, it's more yeah. for a cracker. You can also obviously cut these and toast them properly. Oh my god, for tomorrow morning breakfast? Fresh out the oven, though. I mean, they, I don't know if you could beat that. Mmm. That's a good recipe. Here, I'll give you the last bite. That's fire. 10 out of 10 recommend. Mm -hmm.